single men who had a woman move in, what are examples of a woman's touch that she added? She dried out grasses and flowers last fall, and now there is a permanent dried bouquet in a vase in our living room. Looks nice, and I wouldn't have done it. All that hair in the drain. As a bald man, I fully blame her. Plants, all the plants. Our definitions of clean are quite different. So we compromised and now use her definition of clean. She redecorated my tarantula terrarium because it wasn't pretty enough. Cardboard boxes are not acceptable side tables. Tin foil is not acceptable curtains. She kept my cereal fresh. And now I have the freshest cereal. I didn't think that we need more than a couple pillows in a house. Looks like I was wrong. I swear she don't even sit on them, she just used them to decorate the sofas and armchairs. Now when people come around, for some unknown reason there are candles lit. We go through about 450 rolls of toilet paper a day it turns out I don't know how to clean properly we now have three different sizes of blenders that we never use. For me, lamps I literally never even owned one, just used the big light all the time. Cushions the sofa has cushions as part of the sofa, I would never have had more, but apparently if you can sit on the sofa without moving cushions it's wrong. Smells I have good personal hygiene, and I keep the house clean if a little messy, so my house never smelled bad, it also never smelled good, but it now absolutely does candles they are nice. Caring about how the place actually looks I think it's fairly typical that everything for me was laid out purely by function, and I rarely spent any money on anything more than that, so the place always looked rather spartan. It now looks a lot nicer, I appreciate it looks nicer, but it doesn't really make me happier, it certainly does for her though. The annoying ones. Tidying up when people are coming over, not necessarily friends have houses and live in them, if there's some dishes in the drying rack, or a newspaper on the table, they are not going to think we're savages. Toilet paper there's obvious reasons ladies need more toilet paper. But I didn't appreciate how much, living on my own I barely ever needed to buy TP, now we go through 23 rolls a week where one used to last me about a month. Room temperature went up felt like a sauna to me. I learned that separating piles of clothes on the floor between clean and dirty is not the same as putting them away. Toilet water turned blue and when I pee it turns green. There's no room on the bathroom sink for anything anymore with the hairdryer and all the different hairsprays and whatnot. I started eating more well-rounded meals. Steak night as a single man was steak and a couple tall boys. Now there's sides and veggies too, place smells better. She has ADHD so she has messy moments, but she's good about cleaning up when she has a chance in the weekends usually. Place has a crap ton of plants which is nice. Candles? I love fun smelling candles now. I have long hair, and she also got me to use those easy tie hair towels that have a loop in it, so you just twist your hair up in it and stick the wrap through the loop. I enjoy that now. Keeps my wet hair off me and up drying and no dripping. She got me walking around in a pink hair towel lighting French baguette bath and body candles. And tonight, he'll be drinking wine from a love is blind gold wine cup watching the drama at the reunion haha. Probably with my hair in a pink towel. Hairpins hairpins everywhere. Fresh flowers, sadly I'm allergic. Stuff that smells good. Scent diffusers, candles, and incense. I used to just open up the windows to get the stink out, 